6th grade, module 2, lesson 6, problem set. Number 1. 15 sixteenths is 1 sixteenth groups of what size? So we have 15 sixteenths divided by 1 sixteenth. So these will cancel each other out, and 15 divided by 1 is 15. So the size of the group is 15. 7 eighths teaspoons is 1 fourth groups of what size? So we have 7 eighths divided by 1 fourth, but those don't have a common denominator. So I'm going to change 1 fourth into 2 eighths so that they have a common denominator. And now we have 7 eighths divided by 2 eighths. And, which turns out to just be 7 divided by 2, or 7 halves. And 7 halves is equal to 3 and a half. So, each group would be 3 and a half. A 4 cup container of food is 2 thirds groups of what size? So, I'm going to draw a picture for this one. So, the 4 cup container of food is two-thirds, so we have two-thirds is equal to four cups. So two-thirds is equal to four cups, then one-third would be two cups, two cups, two cups, and the whole container size, two, two, and two, would be equal to six cups. Number four, write a partitive division story problem for six divided by three-fourths. I'll say I bought a shirt. For six dollars. This was three-fourths of my money. How much money did I start with? if we want to solve it, so I have three-fourths is equal to six dollars. So if I were to split that six dollars into these three pieces equally, each one would be two dollars. And so total, we would have eight dollars. Number five, write a partitive division story problem for five-twelfths divided by one six. So I'm going to do one about a snail. A snail saw food sitting a distance away. After traveling, for five twelfths of a foot, he had covered one sixth of the distance. How far away was the food? Number six, fill in the blank to complete the equation. Then find the quotient and draw a model to support your solution. A, one fourth divided by one seventh is equal to, so remember this back a few lessons ago, so we can turn one seventh, or turn seven into one seventh, and then of means time, so one seventh times one fourth is one twenty eighth. B, 5 6 divided by 1 fourth, we can make it 1 fourth of 5 6, which would be times, so that would be equal to 5 20 fourths. Number 7, there is 3 fifths of a pie left. If 4 friends want to share the pie equally, how much would each friend receive? So, 
we need to do 3 fifths divided by 4 friends equally. But we could change this around to be 3 fifths times 1 fourth, and we would get 3 twentieths. So each friend would receive 3 twentieths of the pie. Number 8. In two hours, Holden completed three-fourths of his race. How long will it take Holden to complete the entire race? So in two hours, it took him three-fourths. He had completed three-fourths of the race. So we have eight-fourths. I took two, and I made it into eight-fourths so that we would have a common denominator. Divided by three-fourths would be equal to 8 divided by 3, or 8 thirds. And if we make that back into a mixed number, 3 goes into 8 two times with 2 left over. So we would have 2 and 2 thirds. And that would be hours. Number 9. Sam cleaned one third of his house in 50 minutes. How many hours will it take him to clean his entire house? So, first of all, we are going to take this 50 minutes and turn it into a fraction. So 50 minutes would be equal to 1 60th times 50 because 1 60th is 1 minute out of 60 times 50 so we get 50 60ths which we can reduce to 5 6 so that's 5 6 of an hour and we're going to do take that 5 6 and divide it by the 1 3rd because he cleaned 1 3rd of his hour in 50 5 6 he cleaned 1 3rd of his house in 5 6 of an hour so, if we want to take this, I'm going to find a common denominator for 6 and 3. It would be 6. So, 1 third would be equal to 2 6. So, we have 5 6 divided by 2 6 or 5 divided by 2 which is five halves, or two and a half. So it would take him two and a half hours to clean his entire house. Number 10. It took Mario 10 months to beat five-eighths of the levels on his new video game. How many years will it take for Mario to beat all the levels? So first of all, like the last question, it's asked, it gives us the answer or part of the question in months, but it's asking about how many years. So like here, where we had to change minutes to hours because it was asking how many hours, we're gonna do the same here. So 10 months, we need to transfer that to years. So 10 months will be equal to 1 12th, because that would be one month, times 10, or 10 twelfths, which we can reduce to also five sixth years of a year. So 10 months is equal to five sixth of a year. So now we're going to take the five sixth of a year and divide it equally among five eighths levels. Now in order to do this, I need to find a common denominator for six and eight. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Let's see if we can find one to match. And there it is, 24. So I need to make 5 sixths into 24 fourths. 6 times 4 is 24. 5 times 4 is 20. And 5 eighths into 24 fourths. 8 times 3 is 24, 5 times 3 is 15. So 20 24 divided by 15 24 would be, these will make 1, and 20 divided by 15 we could turn into 20 15ths 
or 1 and 5 fifteenths. If it reduced, would be 1 and 1 third. So it would take him 1 and 1 third years to master all the levels. Number 11, a recipe calls for 1 and 1 half cups of sugar. Marley only has measuring cups that measure a fourth cup. How many times will Marley have to fill the measuring cup? So we're going to take 1 and 1 half and divide it by 1 fourth because we want to know how many 1 fourths are in 1 half. 1 and 1 half. So I'm going to turn this back into a mixed number or an improper fraction. So we'll have 3 halves because 1 and 1 half is equal to 3 halves divided by 1 fourth. But now I still need to find a common denominator. So for 2 and 4, my common denominator would be 4. So let's make 3 halves into 4. I would get 6 fourths divided by 1 fourth, which would be equal to 6 over 1, or just 6. So she'll have to use the measuring cup 6 different times.